Lower the spinner. Let's see what we got. Come on. Please, nothing too bad. I'm just going to go ahead and kill the Electric. PP no more. I gave it the name. Uh, you have to chop off Ryan's. <laughs> this was a reference to the three way verses. Um, so uh, I don't know if that's going to be in the next. That's probably going to be in the next episode. So we're foreshadowing because uh, Ryan's busy today and I have a stream. So next episode, I guess Ryan's losing his manhood. First booming. Now you, Ryan. I mean, sorry, buddy, but. Apparently, this is an Abuse the Ryan series, and you should have never said it in the three-way co-op with Vinny and Frank. I love you, man. <laughs>to try and fix this sleep schedule. I have tried so hard to... Ah! <laughs> I messed up so many times. I'm not kidding. No, I always start off with, I'm not going to lie. Be creative, Dylan. <laughs> Recording the day of of any series is always so stressful to me. It's 3 p.m. I have to record this, edit this, record a brand new collab that I'm so excited for. It's going to drop tomorrow. Definitely peep it on mine and someone else's channel. I'm not going to mention who, but it's going to shock a lot of people and you guys are going to enjoy it. But what is happening, you United family? How are you beautiful people doing? And welcome on back to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Egglock Master Mode. We are here and still hanging on probably taking on the sixth gym today and you guys already know if you guys are still enjoying it which you guys seem to be and that means everything to me go ahead and show that united family love and smash that like button let's try to keep hitting 1000 likes per episode if we get it today and on saturday's episode yet again we will get another bonus episode on sunday i am really hoping this is going to be my very first series to ever get 1,000 likes from start to finish of a solo project that is obviously like cage lock and other things with collabs bringing in multiple communities has done it before let's go ahead and do a quick team recap starting off we have robert here the vaporeon own tempo ability hasty nature surf bite quick attack and aurora beam zachary s so i'm hoping to get to a cray dilly before we take on the gym i'm gonna go get some encounters first then we're gonna train up a little bit and then end the episode off with a gym fight but Miracle recover rock slide and confuse ray next up we have medeo here the Ampharos charge reflect thunder punch and thunder wave with the forecast ability i saw some people saying in the last episode when we were fighting rayquaza that i probably should have just used Ampharos and then take you know just sack them on for failing the challenge my whole reason to not do that is i might have to toss a really good mon that i've been training luckily I only lost mons that were really low level that I wasn't really training yet, besides maybe Corbin. Um, but I would have maybe lost the Ampharos with the randomizer. We saw it happen to Devin, and I don't want that to happen. So that's why I try to, like, not fail the challenge because that leaves up to chance, and chance is never on my side. I mean, I just lost my black randomizer 30% level boosted because I ran into a Clang that beat my Kiram. Obviously, he's super effective, but he had a huge power, and I lost. 
Ross. I have just have had the worst luck of I've, that I've ever had in Pokemon re uh, recently. But we got my daily here, forecast ability, like I said. Then been here, thick as always, compound eyes ability, adamant nature, cross chop, focus energy, fake out, and revenge. Shadow here that I was told to get up to level 14, quick attack, flame will, charm, and tail whip with the rain dish ability, very random. And then Steven pickup ability. Actually did not know you have a pickup ability and you picked up an antidote. That's pretty dope. Hydro Pump, Psybeam, Peck, and Tail Whip. I'm pretty sure I didn't know you had that kind of a moveset, but okay, my bag is full. Um, well, let me toss something here. We can toss this one rare candy just to grab the antidote off, and maybe you could, like, pick up a Master Ball for us. That'd be pretty freaking cool. We still do have a Master Ball that's not the best thing in the world. Let's go ahead and get the spinner ready and see what today's challenge is going to be. Come on, baby. Nothing too challenging. What do we have? <laughs> I'm so glad we... I'm so glad we rolled this. Extreme speed. Okay, this was submitted by um, Big Spice 34. Race Ryan down the street. If you lose, you have to randomly forfeit a mon, but if you win, you get to hatch an egg. Yeah, let's do it. All right. I don't know if that'll happen today or the next episode. I still got to, like, demonetize Ryan. Um, you know, hashtag LFLFLFKO. Shout out to the three-way co-op with him, Vinny, and Frank. I don't know when we're supposed to be doing all that. Me and Ryan have both been really busy, so I haven't been able to do the little skit things. But those are some of my favorite things. That's why I, hold, I want everyone to move to Georgia. The whole meme is because the more people we get here, the more, like, insane we can get and creative with the content that we create with vlogs with you know the challenges and master mode it just it makes a lot of things more exciting let me go ahead and start the timer that might be a little bit smart this challenge obviously is not too bad but i do gotta race ryan that might be tomorrow's intro moment i'm just gonna be honest or saturday's intro moment the next episode if you will because ryan and i are going to momocon speak of the devil the man is here but ryan and i are going to momocon and uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun if you're gonna be at there let us know we're only gonna be there on friday i'm gonna be gone the rest of the weekend um, but yeah, I'm really excited to go. I've never been. I've been to Anime Week in Atlanta, uh, but I've never been to Momocon. So I'm really excited to see what all, you know, the fuss is about because I've heard it's a really, really fun con. And I know I won't get the full experience by just going one day. But anyways, I still think it'll be a lot of fun to do and maybe to meet some viewers. I already know a few of you that are going and I'm really excited about that. Come back. Actually, I don't want Vaporeon on the front. I want to get my Cray Dilly. That is my goal in this episode. Also, I do need to bring it up. I Pretty much everyone that I saw said two things. Number one, get all the Kecleon encounters. This is a freaking master mode, and you're dropping your Pokemon like flies. So get all the Kecleons and hatch those eggs and get a new encounter right here because if you missed the last episode, our box was full because of all the eggs and everything. People were like, just toss them on, don't worry about it, and just get another encounter, which I'm glad a lot of you agree with me with that because, I mean, it's just an egg log. That, that kind of thing can happen, and I just... I really couldn't, like, avoid... I could have avoided that. It's just... It shouldn't be... I don't think I should be penalized when I'm already trying to do a series. Levels boosted. Can't leave gyms and stuff that are already challenging as it is. You have the experience share equipped. You do still. Okay. I think I'm going to be able to get him to a crate elite. He's level 34. I got to get him to 40 before this gym. If I primarily use him, I definitely believe... I can do it, but, um, God, this shirt is so freaking comfortable. Literally, it feels like I'm not even wearing a shirt right now. It's just so soft and light. I'm going to wear it pretty much every day in my video, so get used to it because I always get so freaking hot in my office, and it just feels so light, and I love it, and it's so comfortable. And also, it's freaking Marvel. Of course, I'm going to love it. Shout out to Lex. She got me this shirt. She got me it uh, for when we went to saw um, Endgame, which I still can't get over how amazing that movie is. And it's like, I think, $150 million from uh, dollars away from being the number one grossing movie in the world taking over Avatar and I really want to see that happen I have to see it be the number one movie no offense to Avatar it was a great movie it, it's just not in game level it just it's just not and I, I, I think a lot of people agree with that sure, maybe there's some stands out there for Avatar you never really know all right you surf I don't think I've ever used the word stand in my life but I've seen it all over Twitter and I, I never actually say it myself that felt so weird to say myself i've just been all over the place lately if you guys follow me on twitter which you should at united haze i've been trying to fix my sleep schedule and get like on the grind of waking up at 9 or 8 a.m 
in that area, and that's going to be annoying to catch. But this is my new encounter. I, I got to try. The thing is, you're going to have Roar, and I could throw my Master Ball, but that's not worth it because I don't even get a Legendary for this. Ice Beam or Roar Beam, whatever. I guess the odds were not in my favor after all. That one's 100% legitimate. That, I mean, I could have went for a Torkoal again, I guess, but... Are you kidding me, man? Like, come on! Just let me get the encounter, but that's part of the game. <sighs> Roar and stuff like that, Whirl, uh, Whirlwind, oh, that's just so annoying. But anyways, yeah, I've been all over the place just trying to fix my uh, sleep schedule because I feel like I get a lot more done today. Right now, it's 3 p.m., and this video has to go up today, like I said, and then also I'm recording the collab series, and that gets me really stressed out. I want to get to where I'm awake and pr productive at like 10 a.m. already. I've already had my breakfast, my shower and everything, play with Boomy a little bit. I'm ready to go, right, at 10 a.m. instead of like being drowsy all morning, but it's it's a struggle. I had to take a 30-minute nap today. Like, I, I had to. I was like, no, I can't do it. Me and Lex went and had breakfast together, which was awesome, and... I had these giant pancakes, like they were like this big, and there were three, and I had two biscuits and gravy, because I'm trying to also be on the gym grind, and just eat a lot of calories, and put on weight, which I'm almost back to 140, I haven't weighed 140 in like two years, I've always weighed like 132 to 135, because I just get very cut and lean, it's really hard for me to put on weight, so I have to eat a lot of food, like literally like four to 5,000 calories a day. In which I get sick if I do that, but like I'm trying my best to slowly ease back into that. So I ate a lot this morning and it was sitting so heavy on my stomach that I'm like, I gotta take a nap. I can't do this. I can't go record right now. I'm gonna be burping and just nonstop annoying. See, that, that should have been my encounter, but no, it's not. It's not because this game does not like me. But there is an encounter right here. You don't battle us or anything, but we can get an encounter right here, Route 112. And I can go ahead and go to Mount Pyre, right? I'm pretty sure I can go ahead and go here and get an encounter. Hey, it's me, level 13. Obviously, someone did send in uh, a Toad of Dial. Not surprised. Route 113, I think it said. No, I was level 13. Route, like, I think it was 126. Let me see if I'm right or not. I'm just going to put 126. I might toss him, though, just because, like, someone... Oh! Wait. 22. I don't know where I got the six from, but you know, it's okay. I'm gonna probably toss him once I get the egg hatch anyway, just because I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I'm, someone sent me in one anyway. A scissor that's gonna be a little bit harder to catch. Level 28. Aura beam should not kill. Okay, it definitely didn't. Um, bite. I don't want to die to him, but luckily I don't have a challenge where I can't heal or anything right now. What is my timer at, by the way? Four minutes, so I still got a good bit of time on this. All right, get him in the red. He has false swipe. All right, great ball. Oh, come on. Quick attack. Okay, there we go. He's in the red. Just stop, please. I have so many. I have 99 Pokeballs, and I will waste them all. I need the encounters. Level 28 is not a bad level at all. I will waste all of them if I have to. You're just going to waste my time and you keep raising your attack. There we go. So I was going to it's going to keep making me more and more nervous. 511. Hey, that's my dad's height. All right. Uh, Mount Pyre. So we're just going to put Mount Pyre and then we'll be good. Now, this is the only encounter. Technically, you can go outside right here, but it's still, I think it still says Mount Pyre. So we're not going to, you know, we're going to count those as one and the same. Unless you guys want to count them as different, by all means, I'll take a little bit. Oh, this is where I should train. This is where I should train. Your defense is horrible and you give amazing experience. Hold on. Hold on. Obviously, I don't want to just sit here for hours on hours and let you guys just stare at the screen. But, like, Zachary could really get some XP right here. Honestly, like, if I mean, if I run into more, I don't think I'm going to run into any more. Come on. Where are they all at? All right, well, that was worth a try. Those are always good, like, blissies and stuff to get, like, amazing experience. They give you so freaking much. But I'm going to keep him at the front now. He's a level 35. Like, that's only five, uh, two levels behind my Vaporeon. I think he can handle it on his own. Rock slide, don't, don't, don't. Yeah, there we go. Get that experience, baby. All right, I'm going to go heal first. We have a... Oh, come on. We have a rival battle up ahead, too, but there's so many trainers right here. Let me see. Do I have... Okay. Man, I'm, I got put to sleep, though. 
I'm trying to wake up. All right, let's see. Swagger, no. Um, do I have anything to wake him up? I probably have some berries, don't I? Oh, yeah, I have plenty. And I don't have any to wake them up. Was it Chesto berries that wake them up? I'm so bad with berries. I never used them as a kid. I don't even think I knew you could do them or use them as a kid. There's a lot of things with Pokemon that I did not know. I've talked about it before, but like when I was a kid, I didn't even know about Stab. I don't think I learned about Stab until I did YouTube. I literally had no clue there was something where you could actually like do more damage if it was the same typing. I thought I knew Pokemon so well. That's a Salamence. It's a little bit scary, but Robert should do A-OK. -okay. One, oh, ooh, it didn't kill. I got a little greedy right there too because that could have killed me. Or beam, there we go. Oh my lord, if I would have lost Robert right there, I would have been so upset. Um, but as a kid, I remember I thought I, was, I knew Pokemon so well. I remember when Black and White came out, and I beat the entire game in a day, and I was like, I really want to get into Wi-Fi battling. I'd never done it before. Uh, so I built my team. I don't think I won one game. I legitimately don't think I won one entire game. I got my Tyranitar, and I told him, like, surf and all this stuff. I was like, I have so much type coverage with my one Tyranitar. I'm going to be A-OK. -okay. And I, I literally, I just got bodied. Not, not nonstop. Literally, it was the most embarrassing thing ever. I don't even think I, like, barely got knockouts on any of the Pokemon. Why did I go straight and fight May? I got, I, I could have went back and, you know, grinded a little bit. I could have said no right there, but no, I'm just rapidly pressing A. Why am I fighting you right now? And you have a Celebi. Okay, 37. Oh, I don't have anything for this. You're super effective on Robert. Oh, come on. You definitely have Psychic. Oh, there's my timer, but I'm already in the battle. What are you going to go for? Don't go for future sight. Okay, I'm hoping you don't have any grass type moves. I think the most you could have is like, okay, safeguard. Future type safeguard. I think you have psychic and maybe leech seed. No, you don't have leech seed. You get that at level one. Maybe mega drain or something. Okay, we're doing a decent amount of damage with that. Ancient power. Okay, you might not have a grass type move. We're okay. All right, one more hit after this one should be good. I can't believe I have to race run. That's going to be so freaking funny. That's going to be hilarious. I love all these, like, involving him things. The sucky thing is this series is definitely going to be done before Frank gets here. And it would be so cool to involve Frank in these as well. But I can only use Ryan right now. But, you know, in the future, don't worry. We're going to do more things like this as well. I'm, I, don't, I don't ever see me not doing a master mode if it's a video series again. All right, good job, Zachary. Gain that level, buddy. Learning Amnesia. <sighs> Recovers really good in case of a challenge. I want to keep that. Mirror Coat can do so much damage. Rock Slide, Stab, Confuse Rays. I, I'm not going to do it. Confuse Rays so clutch sometimes. Earth Ring. We already saw this thing can do some massive damage. We're definitely going to bend. I am actually, that was so on accident, but I'm really glad that I challenged her right before the challenge ended. All right, level 41! Okay. Okay, that was my special defense. Yeah, I don't know why you would do that, but I land the cross shot. I don't think it's going to kill. Even a stab. It did! We got a crit! My man Ben. It, it might, Ben might be the MVP of the team. I'm just being honest. Cross shop has never missed. This man is a beast. Let's go, Ben. Thank you. Oh, level 41. I don't know why I went straight ahead and fought her. That was the biggest, biggest, I don't even know. Must, it's not really a mistake. You're doing fine, but I'm going to eat that. Okay. I got a little bit nervous, though. Biggest, like, rookie mistake. That's what I want to say. Okay, Silcoon, you definitely die. We even got a crit. Zachary trying to show up. And Thunderball to end it off. Now, you can have, like, ice-type moves and stuff, so I'm going to actually get out of here and go for the cross chop. There we go. <sighs> we won. We won. It is time to load another challenge, though. Dear God. I got really nervous with that one. Okay. Go ahead and load the challenge while we're talking about all this. Yada, yada, yada. Let's see. What do we have? This might be the final challenge of the episode. I don't really know. The worst challenge 
I could have gotten right now. Legitimately the worst challenge. Hashtag team no grind. You cannot grind any of your Pokemon for the next 10 minutes. Absolute Zorark. I'm literally, what am I trying to do right now? Grind to get a great Illy. I'm very upset right now. Let me load my timer. That is just every time this happens. It happened with the Ampharos. And now this. Like every time I, I roll something that really hurts what I'm trying to do in the game. At least I can heal. I'm not going to grind. If I run into someone that's not grinding, I just can't go out of my way to try and grind them on. Um, I need to buy some. I, I think I'm. I don't think I have any room, do I? No. Let me sell some stuff. I definitely can sell stuff. Zinc. Um, let's see. Da, da 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 Do I have any more like zincs or any kind of items like that? Why do I have two spell tags? Um, really, I could sell that for a lot, but as long as I could buy hyper potions or I could buy max potions, I could buy fifty max. Uh, this game you really don't need that. I'm just gonna buy forty hyper potions to make sure we are. Oh, I, that was stupid because what if I have to toss them later on? All right, what do you have for me? Oh, I do get the um, randomized TMs right here, though. I think it's a little bit higher. I don't think it's right here. Okay, I don't need those. Those are the medicines. We don't need that. No, we ain't sick, fam. All right. Scatters a powder that may cause sleep. Okay, sleep powder. A reckless body slam that also hurts the user. It looks like a fighting type move. A reckless body slam that hurts the user. Fighting type move. I'm normally pretty good at these. Hammers with a high critical hit ratio. Okay, that's a crab hammer. Not bad at all. That's special. Actually, let me buy that. That's special in this game, too. A full body slam. Okay, that's body slam. So what is that? A reckless body. What's a fighting move that hurts the user? I know, like, I don't know. I actually don't know. Any Pokemon here in this? Okay, that is a Parasong. Forgets about something and sharply raises... Race what? Like, I have no idea. Grips a foe with a large and powerful pincers. I think that's vice grip, maybe? Shoots two to five seeds in a row. That's bullet seed. I don't know what that other one is, but yo, can, can my Vaporeon learn Crab Hammer? 90 damage. Oh, that's not even that great. It has high critical hit ratio, but that's... I mean, that's no different than Surf, really. Surf is 90. 95, even. Yeah, that's, I thought Crab Hammer did more damage, actually. All right. Never mind. Well, none of these are that great. I mean, sleep powder is pretty good. Let me go ahead and buy that as well. Sleep powder can definitely be useful. But who can learn that? I have one grass type on my team. And you and Steven are the only ones that can learn it. Okay, well, I'm going to keep that in the back. That could definitely be useful. Well, if I can't grind, I guess what I'm going to have to do is take on the gym. Or I could do the Mount Pyre stuff. That's technically... That's no different really than taking on a gym. That's just as hard. Their levels might even be harder. I already battled you. Try to. Okay, I tried to avoid him. I was walking by. I didn't run or anything, but I gotta fight you. I'm definitely not getting my cradle in time. What's the timer at? Seven minutes. Oh, Luke. Da 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 da. Text me. And I'll, um, he said, I'm diggity down. Ha ha ha. What is that about? No one knows. Dun 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 dun. All right. You can take this. It is a water type, but you are grass and rock. A rock slide should do a decent amount. Disable does nothing because I have not attacked yet. Don't use Disable next time, please. He misses Psyduck. Just use Confuse Ray. Okay, it's fine. Good job. And, okay, of course you would do that. Well, I have no other move. Like, what am I supposed to do? There we go. A Parasect. Okay, is that, it's still disabled. You put me to sleep. Come on. There we go. Leech Life, I can eat these. There we go, Zachary. Three more levels. Sorry for that abrupt cut. My camera literally just cut off, and so I just wanted to make a sharp cut. And also, what I realized, we never hatched our eggs before we proceed and maybe take on the gym. I paused the timer. It's at six minutes and three seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and start that right now, and we'll continue on with the hashtag Team No Grind. Um, but yeah, like, I, I just realized I was going through here, and I was like, oh my god, I haven't even done my eggs yet. And we had two captures. We have a level 20 eight and then we have the level 13 and i think we're on box eight so let me go ahead look over this way grab an egg 
Or, okay, yeah, grab an egg. There we go. Grab the points off. Put you right there. And then grab over here. Da -da 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 -da. Give me my legendary, please. All right, so the first one that hatches will be level 13. And then the next one that hatches will be level 28. Please, 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 please either be a Devin 2.0 or my legendary. That's all I want from you right now. Literally all that I want from you right now, please. All right, what do we got? <laughs> Come on, who sent this in? I want to know right now. I wait till you see the moves in the nature. Who sent this in? Trying to bust my balls. It's a master mode. Take all of the Kecleons. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I don't do non-members often, but I didn't even name this Justice because I want justice on who sent in this mine in here. Hold on. Volt Absorb, Bold Nature, Growl Substitute and Wish. Who sent it in? I want the comment right now. I want it to be hearted, please. I, I mean, the hearting part is up to me, but I, I, I want to see who sent that in. What else do we got? You know, feedback. See, my low tick's good, but to get this thing to my low tick is nearly impossible. All right, I am going to name this. Da -da -da -da. Uh, let's name this Chris Smith. The man's always out in the streams, always being such a good guy, hanging out with us. So I'm gonna name this thing Chris. Thank you so much. I doubt we'll use you just because it'll take forever to get to my low tick, and I think you have to up a wow. If only it was easier to get a Milotic, we gotta get like a- we gotta get your beauty and stuff up, right? I'm pretty sure that's what we gotta do, but let me go ahead and switch the team back over. And then I think we're gonna go ahead and take on the gym. So remember, the Feebass is level 28. I'll do that off camera. And then the mining, God, if we even use it, is level 13. Okay, where are these freaking legendaries at? That's all I'm waiting on is the legendaries. All right, go down here. We can't go battle any of these guys. Just run away. Just run away. Hair across, be able to get away easily. I could do Mount Pyre, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and take on the gym. I think that's the smart decision to do right now is just go take on the gym. Like, there's... I'm just scared to go to Mount Pyre and, like, them have even higher levels. I don't know technically which is going to have higher levels, but, I mean, once we're in this gym, we can't leave. That's the part that makes me nervous as well. Arena Trap. Well, this isn't grinding, but I have to kill you. Otherwise, I literally can't get away. All right, I battled every single trainer. I don't have cut or anything. What does that get? An item? I battled every single trainer already up through here. I don't think I got a route encounter up here, but I guess I've already forfeited it by now. I'm pretty sure that I avoided it when I did the Kecleons. Oh, everyone told me I could get the Kecleon encounters. I forgot. I could go ahead and get this, and there's one more down below. I don't remember this. Oh, that should be pretty easy to catch. Quick attack. There we go. And we're going to catch this. Actually... I might be able, what's the timer at? Two minutes. If I get these Kecleon encounters, I might not have to take on the gym. Uh, Kek, Lee. Oh, if I can actually get through this and maybe still get a Cray Dilly, uh, I'm gonna name it two. All right, so level 30. I'm fine with getting some egg hatches right now. And there's one more. Let me get this first. A pearl. Okay, we could come back for that. I'm pretty sure we just forfeited our encounter here because I ran away from many, many Pokemon, which is no biggie, I guess. I mean, that was just me being stupid. I should definitely have to pay for that. And there's one more Kecleon right down here. Is it right? There it is. Okay. Please be easy to catch. Easy to catch. Easy to catch. Oh, they're all Pikachu. Was the other one Pikachu? I don't think it was. Okay. I'll take some pretty easy catches. All right. Kecleon three. All right, so let's go get two more egg hatches. Both are going to be level 30, which is really freaking convenient for us. Please be a freaking legendary. I really, I can't wait. You ever in a trap? Yep. I really can't wait until <laughs> we run into um, a, the, like, Rayquaza, right? The static legendary. This could be level 70, right? And I, I catch it. Level 70, and I hatch a plus or something. Like, knock on wood. That doesn't happen, but like, that seems about like so fitting with how my luck's been the last like couple of months of series, to be honest. All right, grab two eggs, box, we already, we did this one, right? Yeah, we did this one, I think, but why do you only have one? No, I guess we didn't do a nine one, unless we put another one here. Okay, I'm gonna do this one just again. I mean, they're all egg hatches, it's not the biggest thing in the world, put the ponytail up. 
All right, both of these egg hatches are level 30, so it doesn't matter what order they go in. I'm going to go towards the top, I think. Around. Oh, not that tall. Okay, right here. Right in the middle. This is going to be the, the good spot. I believe in it. I believe in it right here. Okay, I've already battled all these guys. Oh, please, for the love of God, just be something good. If this was actually another, like, mud kit, this could be actually so good. Like, I, I, I'd have a swampert by the next episode. And surely there's at least two people that send in mud kits. No comment. <laughs> no comment, all right? We're going to miss after Andrew Gomez, the man who recently became a member, is always hanging out in the streams. Oh, there's my timer. That's great. You know, no grind anymore. Shut up. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to roll one just yet because I might end the episode right here. I still got to record the collab today and get this video up for everybody. Last egg hatch of the episode. <laughs> my guy. Actually, it's not that bad. You've been a pain in the butt for me, but that's actually not that bad. Tropius is a pretty cool mod. You quad weak to ice, which is kind of annoying. I'm and I'm gonna read this one really quick. Lone Wolf. The sheer amount of unluckiness you have in this series is just stunning. I'm still rooting for you. Also, the Boomy Cameo is a must in the future. He's so cute. I would like oh he said question of the day. I'd like to see a soul link with you and Vinny. I think it'll be a nice break from clawing at each other's throats. Yo, maybe that'll happen one day. Maybe. I'm gonna name this thing uh Lone Wolf. Thank you for being a member, my dude. And still cheering us on. I cannot believe we hatched an unknown. It's a master mode. And he has sturdy. I think that's crap. And he has hidden power. <laughs> Lax nature. We know he has a ring and trap. Leer, Gus, and Leech Seed. Oh, what an episode. I am going to end right here, though, because it's already 340. I got to get this up for today. I still have a stream to do. I have a collab to record. The brand new start of a series. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that thumbs up button. I'm sorry we didn't make a lot of progress today. I mean, we kind of did all the Lily Cove stuff, and now the next episode, we immediately take on the gym, and then we can, we can do that in Mount Pyre in the next episode, so that's Saturdays, and then next week, we're definitely finishing. I can't see this series lasting longer the next week, and hopefully it lasts with a victory. At this point, I've, I'm this far into it. I really want to see a victory come out of it. Thank you all so much. I hope you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at United Hayes. As always, everybody, it's not just a channel. It is a family, and I'll see you on Saturday for our next episode. I'm out.